Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a mid-profile fifth wheel from Heartland. This is the 2020 Heartland Elkridge Model 32 RLS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting three, two, one. to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles, the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to fifth wheels, travel trailers, and toy haulers. And again today I am super excited to be showing you this Elkridge 32 RLS. This is the most popular floor plan style in the world for fifth wheels. But before we begin I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey everyone. Hey Andrea how's it going? Going good guys. I apologize for the noise, but as you can see, we're near the interstate here. Yep, right off I-75, but the noise isn't as bad as what it normally is. And let us know we're using our new GoPro today. Yes, our new new camera, our the new, new GoPro new 8. So let us know how it goes and... Let us know what you think. Let's just get started. Model is 32 RLS, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length hitch to bumper is 35 feet 9 inches. This has a dry weight of 11,057 pounds and a vertical tongue weight of 2,260 pounds. And again, this is a great lightweight mid-profile fifth wheel, but you really wanna make sure that your truck can not only support the weight of the fifth wheel, but the hitch weight as well. Up front here, you have a nice molded fiberglass front cap that says Elkridge. I do like that. Coming underneath, you do have a uh, lipper component pin box. And then check this out. Oh. Look at that. Look at how they made use of the storage here. That's great. Oh. Right there, you see those cutouts? Yeah. It is prepped for a generator. And you got this nice storage. Also, right here, you do have auto leveling. It is, I think it's electric. Nope, six point hydraulic nice. auto leveling. Watch your head there. And then here's your battery compartment, your pure sine wane, magnum inverter, everything else cool like that. And right here it is prepped for a solar panel. Oh, that's great. And guess how much this cargo carrying capacity is? I'm sorry, Andrea. What's the cargo? What's the, Andrea, what's the CCC? 4,895 pounds. Wow, that's actually a lot. I know, that's what I said. I had to check it twice. That's awesome. So it is Heartland, and what that means is you are gonna get a one-year tip-to-tip warranty, three-year structural warranty. You got your speakers on the outside. You have a nice power awning with LED lights right there. Right here's your propane. You also had propane on the other side. And then check this out. This is the other side of that storage. Look at this, held up by a magnet. That's nice. I love that. Got your coax in here. Yep, for an outdoor television. Outlet, another outlet there. Yep. That storage is great. Very nice. You know, and, and it's not the biggest storage we've seen on a fifth wheel, but being such a small lightweight fifth wheel, I mean, that's amazing storage. Right here, look at this. I love, 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 love these solid steps. Oh, nice. This has the weather guard, so it's four seasons, has a heated and enclosed underbelly, and check that out, Andrea. Heartland, I didn't even know this, they're using Asdell, so that's great. This uh, fifth wheel will never delaminate on you. Look at those tires. Those are the uh, trailer king. <laughs> Woo! I can't see the tire, oh. ST235-85 R16s. Those are some pretty decent tires. All oh, right, coming around the back. Right there, you do have a spare tire underneath and spare tire carrier. Very nice. Oh, there's that a quick connect right there. LP quick connect for a grill as well. Around the back here, it is prepped for a backup camera. No bumper, no hitch receiver for the back. I'm okay with that. And you do have a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. 
Let's go up there and take a look. Okay, that's really weird because it doesn't have the bumper for you to step on. Yep. Here we go now. Here on the roof, you can see this is a fully walkable TPO roof. You have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there's your wine guard, digital antenna. And then here's places for a power fan right there. And since I'm up here, let's just take a 360 look at the dealership. Man, that's pretty cool, huh? Be careful when you come down. Remember, there's no bumper there. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on a fifth wheel, show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. And Andrea. Yes. Tell everybody what week it is. It is Easter week. Great. So what we're doing, check that out. We have our official Matt's RV Review stickers that we're now selling on our website, mattsrvreviews.com. And tell everybody what we're doing this week only until Easter. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Also, we have a new feature you can add a personalized message. So um, if you're buying this for a gift or something, or you want me to say like, here we go now, or woo, or America, or whatever, you can do that as well. Thanks, y'all. Right here, you do have a 50 amp power cord right there for the two AC units. Great, Window. finishing up with the outside. Over here, this is where you dump your black and gray tank right there. Here, oh. okay. Here you have a nice big 10 gallon DSI water heater. Here's the other side of that nice pasture storage. Oh. And then here's your wet bay. Look at that, I love that. It's got a light in there, I like Very that. Very nice, clean, lit, everything. Andrea, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but what really makes it's the inside. Let's go take a look. A nice tri-fold sofa. I'm gonna do that and then I'll let Andre show you the rest of the living room. You know why? Because I'm a nice guy. I think you just want to break. I think you're just using that as an excuse. Andre? <laughs> Excuses are like assholes. That is very true. They all stink and everybody has. <laughs> Look at that. That's a great size. Absolutely. Why don't you lay on it? Demo it out for us, Andrea. All oh, right. I can't say that, you know, I may just take a nap here. Uh-huh. Oh! Very good size. So it's about five foot six long, right? Yeah. Well, no, I'm like, yeah, it's longer than me. Yep, but just yeah, a little I bit. Mean, it's actually really comfortable. Nice. I love the tri-fold Yeah, me too. Here, I got it. You sure? Yep. And... The reason why I love them is just they're real simple and yep. nice. Easy and they're to not, set up. yep, they're not a pain. Like some of them can be a real pain. It's like, really? Check out the lights above the cabinets. Oh, yeah, very nice. Why don't you show that cabinetry, Andrea? Yes. Well, I love the big lights. Go ahead. Nice. Not the big lights, the big <laughs> windows. Nice cabinets. Oh, yeah. I love, you're right, I love the three windows here. Nice shelves. Uh-huh. Cabinet here. Again, look at the light there, I like that above. Yep, I like the ambiance of the blue. So we have end tables here, and we got electrical outlets and USB. Very nice. Uh, across, next to the sofa, we have recliners. Thomas Not Pink. next, 
What would well, you call that? Adjacent? Yes, and guess what? This has the massage, the light, and I believe it's heated. Is yeah, it heated? but it's not. Yeah, it, you need the yeah. power on for yeah, it to recline. Right. Two cup holders. Uh huh. Three, uh, place for your remotes. But you know what? This is pretty comfy. I actually like these. Hey, there's Rick. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why the lights go oh, off? Oh, 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 maybe, I don't know. Oh, pause. Pause. Oh, there you go. Weird. That is so weird. What the heck? I don't know what just happened, but look, come here. Come here, Rick. I must set the fence wheel on fire. <laughs> you got one A50. Can you put in 24? No, I had it on. So top. humid out here today. Say something to America. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's continue the video. All right. Where were we? Oh, I was over here. Yep. All right. So as you can see, before our little drama, the recliner's perfect. Remote. I did say that already. Sorry guys. Yep. You got a nice window here. Look at the cabinets. Very nice. Three cabinets here. Lights underneath, you have MCD shades. Yep, and I that. love how the theater seats are across from the yes. entertainment center. Look at this, I love these humongous big TVs that they put in these fifth wheels. And you guys, this does swivel out, so you can adjust it. Uh-huh. Above, now this is a nice look. Yep. With the frosted. Very nice. Nice cabinets there. And I love how the fireplace produces heat. Yes, definitely. All right, check out this kitchen. Oh my gosh, look at this island. Uh -huh. Look at solid surface countertop. Beautiful farmhouse sink. Very love nice. It. Heavy little suckers. I do love these. Uh -huh. They're great. Underneath here we got drawers. Check that I out. Love, I love the yep. glow. Yep. Yep, see the LED lights around uh -huh. the island. Right here we have a big cabinet. Uh huh. And above, I love these cute little light fixtures. Check Very out how nice. there's the bluish light around it. Andrea. Yes. Is that bluish light Art Deco? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not Art Deco. All right, over here we have cabinets with the shelf. Andrea, am I noticing something? Is this kind of like a smoked look or something, or like an ash? T like discolorization, but it's supposed to be that way. You know what? I don't know what they call it. Guys, if you know what this is called, please leave in the comments below. I like it though. Um, it's like rustic. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely different. Look at that backsplash. Nice back. Well, it's like kind of cheesy, but okay. it, it does look nice. You got a nice window here with blinds. Mm hmm. Got Solid surface countertops. Yep. Got a nice cabinet there. Three drawers. Oh, yeah. And a big one down here. Very nice. Here we got a microwave. Nice size microwave. Oh yeah. And another cabinet up here. Very nice. We got a three burner cooktop. I love that with the flush glass mount. Yes. Mm. And. Look at that oven. An oven. This is a big oven. Wow. Very nice. I'm like that. Look, check out this. Look at this. This is different from what's in the other. Oh yeah. Manufacturers. Very I nice. I love that oven. And we got a good size drawer here over here now i love this refrigerator because yep. 
it just seems so sleek and compact even though it's a residential we'll open it so here we have the fridge so it's kind of like a small residential but it just looks sleek yeah you know and it's it just looks nice mm -hmm. and this runs off your inverter awesome yes beautiful now andrea yes is this kitchen andrea approved it is well great oh show that look at that and then guess what time it is it is time for the msrp burr, 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 burr. msrp on this fifth wheel is Sixty-seven thousand three hundred and sixty-six dollars MSRP. Wow. Sale price, as you guys can see right there, we don't put sale price on our website, but I've been looking on RV Trader. Everybody has it about twenty-five percent off to forty-nine nine. But Andrea, yes, they can get an even better price Absolutely. than that. Tell them how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, or you can Facetime. Hey, three zero one nine zero six zero nine six two or Matt's RV reviews at gmail.com. Let's continue the video. Okay, here we have more cabinetry. Look at this. It's crazy. Very They're nice. Very high. I need a step stool to get up there. Yeah. I love that. Nice shelves. Oh my god. Cute little. I mean, Andrea, with 4,000 cargo carrying capacity, yeah, you, you know it. Very Look nice. And there's the slide out buttons and everything. Yes, here's your panel. And I like how, so check it out. You also have this and this controls everything as well, but I like how it gives you two options. All right. Over here, we have the standing table with four chairs. Uh -huh. Love this window. Yep. Two windows here. Nice table. You know what? I kind of do like this table, the colors. I'm not normally into such dark interior, but I do like it. Right. But I think it looks well. Yeah, for sure. Look at that very nice very interesting all, all right, right let's check out the bathroom see the steps going up you got a nice little handrail oh, nice there shower. window across from the bathroom nice size shower look at this look i at love this. that there's a seat in there i've been getting a lot of emails about this andrea just so everybody knows i'm five foot five and a half so five foot six so this is how much space i got you know what i'm saying and um, my weight is 150 pounds if you guys are trying to get like a good size comparison. <laughs> <laughs> Close the glass door. Okay, so yeah, that's very nice. Yep, very nice. I love the seat right there. Uh, look at that, that's so cute with the shelves. Yep, that's actually smart, Just little cubbies and nooks. You got like your towel holder here. That's very cute. Over here, you got a medicine cabinet, Close mirror. It again. Yep, cute. very nice. Nice big sink. Yep. Very nice. And right here, you got a little bit of storage you underneath. Cabinet underneath, under here as well. Yep. Okay. Time for the toilet test. It's oh, for yeah. Me to get a good angle. Oh, yeah. Well, we got it. We got it. There's no good angle needed. Do you know why? This gets the four Ps. This is a prime pooping position, and we don't need to talk about it any longer because it's just so great and comfortable. I actually think, I think if there's a fifth wheel that ever does not give you a prime pooping position, there's something wrong with that fifth wheel. Just because they're all big, spacious, and great. I love it. And I love the, um, you got the door right here. Great. Why don't you show everybody the bedroom? Okay, the bedroom. We have a pocket door right here, you guys. Big window here. Check out this. Oh, yeah. Six drawers. Wow. That's awesome. These ones, I mean, they're cute. I like it. Yep. Um, okay. Nice so, king size bed. Yes, with two windows. Uh huh. Check out that interesting headboard. Interesting. Okay, I don't know if there's. Yeah, lift it up. I don't think there is. It does. Really? Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. All right. Ooh. Okay, so let's I see like that. Here. I like all the mirrors up there. Place for a TV. Coax. Yep. Electrical outlet. Let's see what's over here. You know what that's oh. for. Oh. I bet you that's prepped for a it stackable is. washer dryer. You see that? Very nice. Very nice. You can also use it for hanging up clothes if you need to. Yep. Massive closet. Bye, Andrea. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. 
<laughs> so check this out. Can you see this? This yep, is a there's big a light right closet. there. Look at this closet. Very nice. I like that there's a rack up here. Uh-huh. That's nice. Yep. But these are really cute. Can you let me back out? Come on out. <laughs> Great. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Yes. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Elk Ridge and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? I say let's do three things we like about it. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna go first. I'm telling you what. I tell you what, I love the cabinetry. I love like the fading or the burning look or whatever. Very nice. And it kind of goes well with the uh, burning jump box we have. So that's one. It's definitely different. Yep. It's the first time I've seen this kind of design. Yep. Yeah. What's yours? I love the refrigerator. Really? I love their, I know it's- Elaborate on it, why? I just like it because it, even though it's a residential, it just looks so slim and sleek and modern. Uh-huh. Um, I'd have to say I'd almost dis disagree up, with you. I like it, keeping up with the times. You know, people are starting to use slimmer appliances. I don't care about times, I care about food. I like it. <laughs> and it locks right here. All right. Great. Also- so, so that's two. I, I think I always like these light fixtures, you guys. They're so cute. Um, All right. Well, I'm not going to say that. I got the third one. Follow me. I love this storage. I love how they did it, how you can access it from all three sides. I think that's a big deal. And listen, this is a mid-profile fifth wheel. This is not the big boys. This isn't the big horns or the big countries or stuff like that. So it still get really great storage. I'm a huge fan of that. Also the hydraulic leveling yes. jacks. That's a, that's a upper echelon feature. So uh, yeah. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this fifth wheel. Bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna do that one last. So why don't you show two? Really? I just don't know what it is. It just doesn't. Well, well, here, seem... here's what I'm gonna say. I'll combo that because you know, Andrea, you know I like to combo it. I'm gonna say the all the flooring. I don't like the ductwork on the floor yeah. right there. Even though when it's cold, that's nice that the heat's gonna blow up on your warm feet. Right. But still, yeah, ducting in the floor and the flooring. Okay. So that's one. Two. I'm going to say a dislike that I have. Oh, I got one. A dislike that I have is gonna be right in here. I don't like the two-piece shower. I feel, I love the shower size. I just feel like for this price point, it should be a one-piece fiberglass shower. I agree. Not the two-piece shower. I agree. So that's just that. And then three is outside. Around the back. I did not like how there wasn't a bumper here. I did not like how there wasn't a re rear receiver here or anything. And it did make it hard for me to climb up onto yeah. the roof. Good point. But that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, please call me, text me, send me an email. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or my personal cell. 301-906-0962. Leave down in the comments below. We are using the new GoPro 8. Let us know if you could tell a difference, if you liked it. Uh, we do have lapels coming, so the audio will get better. But uh, let us know how you feel about the camera and um, you know how we almost burnt this fifth wheel down. <laughs> Andre, do you have anything you want to say? I do. Hey guys, let us know the three things that you like about this fifth wheel and you, what you dislike about it. Um, you know, it was hard with this one because it was really nice and kind of so I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. And yeah, uh, I hope everybody is doing well. And you guys take care, okay? Yep, perfect. Also, one last thing. Also, one last thing. Don't forget about the Matt's RV Review stickers. Buy one, get one free until Easter. All right, thanks again. Yay. Andrea, 
We'll see you next, next time.